All right, guys, Coreware is in the early stages of transitioning to a resource recycling company that will treat organic waste and produce economically sustainable products. It is a completely revolutionary waste recycling company that introduces one of the most environmentally friendly concepts to convert organic waste into sustainable hydrogen and high value carbon. In a recent interview with smallcapwaste.com, the CEO of the company, Lloyd Spencer, addressed some important investor questions. So, in this video, we're going to talk about that interview. Additionally, we will also discuss the recent developments made by this company before we go any further if you are new here make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an important update also this video is for entertainment purposes only i'm not a financial advisor and i'm not giving any specific investment advice you should always do your own due diligence and with that being said guys let's get into it all right so in terms of where we are coreware literally thinks about shaping the future of energy by producing hydrogen as an energy source and carbon provides the most efficient way to transport energy smallcapvoice.com conducted an interview with the chairman and chief executive officer of Coraware, Lloyd Spencer. This interview focused on the development of the company's business model as it transitions to addressing the global demand for efficient and sustainable management solutions. So the company plans to use technology that has been tested before and has yielded great results to process organic wastes into hydrogen and high value carbon products so that it doesn't get waste. This can be used by automotive customers, aerospace, medical, construction industries, and so much more. All right, so Coraware is working to get clean energy from plastic waste. The company wants to produce hydrogen through their microwave initiated catalyst of a mechanical mixture of plastic waste and inexpensive iron based catalysts. So during this process Coraware will be able to produce multi-walled carbon nanotube materials with negligible amounts of CO2 and liquid oil products. Now recently the company announced that it has reached a settlement with YA Global Investments which is an alternative investment company a provider professional financing solution based in New Jersey. So YA Global has entered into a mutual release and settlement agreement. Lloyd Spencer, director and CEO of Coreware, said this final settlement with YA Global is a critical step and it will help Coreware attract new investors. This settlement will help the company clear up old debt and strengthen the company's balance sheet. Lloyd stated that Coreware is pushing forward and its plans to produce economically sustainable hydrogen and high value carbon products and to increase long-term shareholder value. All right, so now let's discuss the interview with smallcapvoice.com. In the interview, Mr. Spencer answered questions about the company's vision of processing organic waste into hydrogen and high-value carbon products. The company stated that they plan on setting up a scientific advisory board, and they're going to be raising funds through their filing with the SEC of Form 1A Regulation Registration Statement. Lloyd Spencer stated that I am grateful to Coraware shareholders and supporters while the company rapidly pivots into this new and exciting industry. We know many shareholders have concerns and questions and we will continue to maintain an open forum to communicate with our shareholders. I think that that's great, guys. The company wants to keep us informed of what's going on. I think that's always a positive sign. Now, on top of all that, the company did file with the SEC Registration Statement Form 1A as of October 8th, 2021. The registration statement relates to the sale of up to 10 billion common shares by the company at an issue price of 0005 per share for a total price of $5 million. The SEC's eligibility notice can be accessed through the SEC website at www.sec.gov. All right, so now we will discuss what Lloyd Spencer thinks of the company's future. Well, during the interview, he said that he thinks Coraware is going to be a sustainable and very profitable business. He went on to state that the company's business model can be cloned in various regions. He said that the company is in the process of bringing products to the market. In the interview, he also talked about plans of acquiring additional companies that are like-minded. I think that that's a positive thing. They're going to look for companies that are focused on generating economical value from organic waste materials. When asked when the company will be able to start selling products, he stated that the company is around three quarters away from selling products. So hopefully, guys, I would say by maybe summer of next year, we might have products to market. Now, the company is also in the process of setting up its first subsidiary in the UK and then expand its business to the United States. So the company has stated that they plan to expand their business worldwide. All right, so now I want to discuss further Coreware's goal. So the company has put its hand on one of the most coveted ideas that have been at the center of the spotlight around the world because it provides the best way to get rid of organic waste on one hand and allows effective methods to produce. I mean, you would be surprised to learn that hydrogen is considered the fuel of the future and that carbon has lots of applications in construction, 
medical, aerospace, and even in the manufacture of carbon nanotubes, which quite possibly could be considered the next generation of energy transportation sources. I think it's incredible the company's goal to mass produce both of these elements, all of which come from a large number of available organic waste materials all around the world. But you might be wondering how Coral World will transform and produce such complex elements, even in sophisticated laboratories, at not an expensive cost. So if that's a concern, the company has given the clue that its goal is to upgrade organic and plastic waste into something more productive using the latest technology and equipment. The key raw material is most of the world's factories. Hydrogen is considered one of the cleanest and most productive sources of energy, allowing major factories, industry, transportation, and even households to get cleaner energy than ever before without any emissions. I mean, we know that pollution has always been the root cause of our environmental problems, and Coreware wants to address this problem by producing hydrogen, which in turn can be used for heavy transportation and to electricity or fuel sources. The company also plans on raising capital through the filing of their SEC Form 1A regulation statement. And again, they're in the process of establishing a board of directors that will help the company grow business and attract new investors. Now, the company stated that after setting up the Science Advisory Board, they will seek out government programs for additional funding. I think that that's great because we all know there's going to be a ton of money for clean energy. So now you may be wondering the most important question here. Should you buy this stock? Should you invest? As always, you should do your due diligence, but I would say that it's a great company to invest in. They are, have the vision of producing organic waste into hydrogen and high-value carbon products. I think that they plan on establishing a science advisory board and seeking out the experts in the field. That's a great sign. Right now, the price of Cowie stock is ranging from 0006 to 0008 with a 52-week high of $0051. So it's a fairly inexpensive investment, but it could yield very high upside potential. As always, you should do your own due diligence, but I think there's a lot of upside here. I do think that the stock price will increase as the company gets closer to accomplishing its goal. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good company to invest in? Please let me know in the comments below. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay tuned.